Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Crystal on my Mono Ghost run. It's time to take out Lieutenant Surge. Yep, we actually have to go back and pull out Cyndaquil, just for cut. It's been a long time since we used that one. Uh, no double battles in this generation, so... We're just gonna have to go through each of these guys. At least I think they're all male. Probably. Oh, a guitarist! Oh my gosh. I guess he's into rock and roll. That's why he's electric Pokemon. The power is guitar. Oh, let's see. Honestly, even with its still resistance, it's probably going to go down easily enough to my psychic attacks. I, I really don't see it putting up much of a fight, to be honest. Doesn't help we got hit with the critical, too, right? Well... Hopefully the rest are a bit better, because otherwise this is going to be a really boring match. It's not even a Magnemite, it's a Voltorb. So it doesn't even have the nice resistance the other one had. It's hopeless. <sighs> Hypnosis is working for me like a dream right now, though. Goodbye, Voltorb. We hardly knew you. You want to be Pokeball? <sighs> Well, now, what we got next? Ah, another Magnemite. Ah, what a big shock. Ah. Ah, lock on. It's gonna follow up. Oh, confusion. I thought I was gonna pull out like a zap can or something, you know? Actually, something useful. Well, let's send out the Grey Lady. Yeah, 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 whatever. Break up its attack with Hypnosis. Now, while it's defenseless, devour its dreams. <laughs> its dreams of victory have ended permanently. It's not like Pokemon really die in these games, though. Unless you want to do a Nuzlocke. I think you pretend you're going around killing everyone's Pokemon, I guess. Because that's what, how you treat when your Pokemon die, right? Or get knocked out. Very few fa failures of the Hypnosis this episode so far. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to come back to haunt me with a bunch of failures in a little bit. Uh, maybe. Honestly, I was hoping to be able to get the Lieutenant Surge by now. This guitarist has really held me up. But thanks for the cash, I guess. Uh, unless you're gonna culture shock me, I doubt there's gonna be any shocking involved. Ah, uh, here comes the juggler. Horton. What's with Hortons lately? I had one infinite space, and I gotta deal with one in this game, too. Oh, look, it's Electrode! The thing whose main skill is to blow itself up! <laughs> really scary. Oh, going with Rollout, eh? Not necessarily a terrible idea, I guess. I mean, at least it gets more powerful every time it strikes, so... At least it's not gonna be, you know, completely worthless. But it's not like I would have cared if they knocked out Stinky anyway. He's like one of my weakest Pokemon right now. If I lose him, it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, Grey Lady's got the money multiplier, so we might as well get her in on the action, right? Just for a bit more cash. Never know, might need some Poke Dollars, you know? Oh, I go with Shadow Ball. Oh. That's over. Ugh, barely a drop in the bucket now. Um, so you got just four electrodes? Seriously? Well, since Stretch isn't paralyzed, we'll get him in on the action. Since he can actually, you know, move freely right now. 
Haha, <laughs> sweet dreams, Electrode. Because sweet dreams taste the best. I assume. Not really sure. You think having your dream devoured would wake you up, but guess not. Well, finish this off with a nightshade. And that leaves, what, one more Electro just to round things off? Yeah, I thought so. <sighs> it's just a reverse Pokeball. It's one of the laziest designs I've ever seen. Oh, it smacks me in the face. Well, that'll break up Rollout. Too bad it has no defense, girl. At least then I could boost the power of its Rollout. It's only slight, but hey, that stuff adds up after a while. <sighs> Nightshade. Well, he's done. You don't even have to deal with the switches in this generation. They're already pushed for you. Which is a bit disappointing, to be honest. Yes, yes I am. Oh, what are you going to do about it? What, you're gonna pull out a Voltorb on me and then have it explode? That won't stop me. My Pokemon are immune to that stutter stuff. Oh, it's Pikachu! It's level 37. Ah. Uh, buffing your speed, huh? You should have went with Double Team. Man. This Pikachu's just lucky. And Stinky's just really unlucky, because being paralyzed sucks. Well, counting on you now, Stretch. Yeah, I thought so. With all those agilities, it's much faster than I am. Damn. And just score another critical hit after the last one? Impressive, I suppose. But, with me stealing all its HP, I'll probably back up to about full health anyway. Yep, called it. Mm, not as so much experience as Electro, though. A Flaffy? Where'd you get one of those, man? Did you travel to the Johto region at one point and pick up a Marie? Or did you get it in trade? And who traded to you? And for what? <sighs> Sadly, the game will not give me answers. Well, let's just drop a Shadow Ball on this thing and move on. I mean, with a 20-level difference, I'm sure I'll drop it. Jeez, this episode's running long. I think the Poison Run will have the fastest time on this one, because I can just pull out everyone's favorite Needle Queen Femme Fatale and just start doing earthquakes all over the place. <sighs> yeah, 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 taste guts, blah, 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 you're number one. Don't really care. S seriously, uh, I don't really care too much about Lieutenant Surge as an opponent right now. He's not really a good rival, at least not for me. At least he has the ever awesome Raichu, though. Give him that much. Unfortunately, his Raichu is very, very unlucky. So, unless he pulls off full heal, this thing's going down fast. Ah, uh, still sleeping. Well, let's finish it off with another Dream Eater. <sighs> I've had a, quite a bit of luck with Hypnosis this episode. Bit surprised. It failed a few times on that one Pikachu, but for the most part, it's been going off like a charm. <sighs> sort of sucks somewhat. Doesn't make it feel like I'm taking any real risk, you know, with my tactics here. If it doesn't stop them. I did pick up a $50 Steam card today, though, so... May get some games off of Steam while they're cheap right now. Could get Knights of the Old Republic. Ah, oh, you actually hit me with that? And I got paralyzed. Wow. Now that's just terribly unlucky. Unfortunately for him, I still have a few full restores on hand, so... I'll just heal myself back up and cure my paralysis. 
If it's just damage, I wouldn't have bothered, actually. Again? <sighs> Seriously? That's starting to get annoying. It's, it's not like Thunder's guaranteed to paralyze you every time it hits. It shouldn't be that effective anyway. I don't know why it keeps happening. There. Jeez, the move's accuracy is only like 70%, I think, too. Hit me with it three times in a row. Surprised there wasn't a miss at one point. Yeah, send out your stupid little ball. We'll just hit with a hypnosis. Ah, uh, no luck with that either. Great. Ugh. Man, this sends someone in with dumb. Destiny bond at this rate. <sighs> He's put up more of a fight than I thought he would. But that's not saying much, because I thought I'd just walk all over him. Well, Grey Lady's feeling better. What's next? What you got left? Magneton. Hmm. Well, let Fatso out. I don't think he's had much to do this episode so far. So we'll let him deal with Magneton. Which might be packing Zap Cannon. Maybe. If it is, that'd be cool. Oh, it's using Double Team. It's got a very evasive-minded team, I guess. Not necessarily a bad idea. Double Team is really powerful. You can set up on it. It's just setting up on it. Uh Unless you're gonna use lock on, that's really not gonna hit me that reliably. Seriously. It is worth a shot. I might end up wishing I'd use Destiny Bond, but what's with all these paralyzes? Does he have like an item that increases the odds or something? Uh, wasn't quick enough there. <sighs> wow. He actually scored a few victories here. Give him some credit, then. It's not enough to ultimately win. <sighs> Let's see. That leaves... Another Electrode. Jeez. Why does so many people in this gym asso associate with this stinking ball? It's just an overgrown beach ball. What else is he gonna do with it? Make it blow up? Like, that's the only real reason you'd even bother pulling out Electro. It's like to make it explode. Hmm. A bit late. To be honest. Not unless he's gonna pull out like a max potion or something to heal it. Yeah, I suppose I'm strong enough. They did make me burn through a full resource with your par paralyzing skills here. Give you some credit. I thought this would be a cakewalk. I guess. Well, that'll do for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.